Hello, I'm Aga from One Viz Artists and today we're talking stories. What is their secret, why they are important and how to use them in our viz. Stories are absolutely essential in our lives. We all enjoy good stories, whatever it comes from a movie, a novel or an image. Good narratives just make us feel and think, keep us engaged. They stick in our minds, help us remember ideas and make them more persuasive. Back in the days, the role of 3D artist was simply to help the viewer to understand the architect's idea. Nowadays, it's getting to be more about the story the artist says for the image and the architecture becomes just the background to this narrative. Let me explain why this is so important. Let's start with a bit of science. Emotions, not logical arguments, make things happen. You might think it's different, but actually there are scientific proofs that it's not so simple as we thought. So let me quickly explain. Most of the time we have a feeling about something first, and then, under the influence of that, we act. In the end, we use critical thinking not to decide, because we've already made a choice, but to rationalize our decision. What's really interesting when we're being told a story, more parts of the brain are activated than during listening the typical presentation. And as a result, we are more engaged when listening to some kind of story. It all makes sense as we probably all experienced some boring lessons at school after which we didn't remember anything, right? Now, after this quick science section, let me share with you the rules of the perfect story with the example of the real estate visualization. First, we have to think what our target audience is. So, for example, for real estate visualizations, it can be young couple looking for their first place, single professionals or families with children that searching for the safe, large place. Character of the story needs to belong to the group of potential buyers. So the point is that they have to identify with the hero to create the emotional connection. Some events cause the hero to leave the point in life and start new journey. For a real estate market, your character can have different issues, like desire to becoming independent, uh, too small apartment or party-friendly neighbors and so on. When you know what the problem is, Point out the new opportunity which solves the problem of your hero, at the same time answering the dilemmas of your potential viewer. In our case, it will be a new place that is perfect for the hero of the story. Experiences and emotions of the character will be the most important part. By leading your viewers through the story, you will encourage their desires and dreams. Thereby, the viewers will remember your solution, the place you advertise. So what you're really trying to do when tell a story is to get the audience to have the same feeling as the hero. So you simply try to reach people's hearts. Open stories gives a room for interpretations. They are more engaging for the viewers as they give them opportunity for a more direct influence. So they can read the story differently depending on the past emotions and experiences. Closed stories instead are more obvious and directly told by the artist. It doesn't give a room for second interpretations. Every relevant detail, which is important to follow a storyline, is visible in this image. Our brain doesn't interpret letters as naturally as processing imagery. Pictures are like shortcuts to our brain 
so we react faster to visuals than texts. Now I will show you what I mean by this. Let's do a quick test. Think about the word couple. What are you thinking about? Do you have a specific couple in mind? What the couple from your imagination is doing? Does the word itself evoke any emotions in you? If so, what kind of emotions? Now let's take a look at this image. Can you tell the difference? Images have a great power to communicate things far more precise than words. Specific feelings, emotions, mood and atmosphere. If you tell a group of people to think about the word couple, they definitely won't think about the same couple. For sure, all of them won't have the same feeling about that. They have different experiences, a different time in life, different connotations. But if you show the same group of people the image, the majority of people will have similar thoughts and feelings. It means that there is a way to impact viewers' emotions, and this is through the image. Architectural visualizations and animations have a great opportunity to do so. These days, in the world of information consumption, it's never been so important to draw viewers' attention with a high-quality content. I'd love to show you a great example of visual storytelling. It's the content created by Land Rover. If you go to their website, you will see that the company created the section The Land Rover Stories, where they collect the experiences of photographers when riding a specific Land Rover model through racked and beautiful landscapes like Alaska or Colorado. All narratives include stunning photographs, which comes together to tell inspirational stories of the Land Rover brand. The company doesn't focus on the car itself, they use the vehicle as a way to experience the adventure. Let's continue with the real estate example. Marketing content in real estate needs to show the story if you want to produce an effective advertisement. And this is basically what the architectural visualization is. In that case, the architecture should be used as a background, a tool for experiencing a story. Many times artists show the architecture as the most important aspect by showing the features like a large space, great design or facilities. But this is not the key of efficient marketing. They lack a story. Let me show you how it works with architectural visualizations. Here is our image of a balcony of some new nice apartment. In this example, our target audience was a group of young people looking for the first apartment to move in together. We decided to show the romantic mood and cozy atmosphere here. Our goal was to engage young people in love, evoke their emotions and desires. The soft suns and lighting and the gentle palettes of color play a great role in creating a place from their dreams. By using the roses and spill wine, we evoke specific emotions related to intimacy and sexual desire. There is no need to always show everything directly. You can use an open story, which I explained before. Through the architectural visualization, we give our viewers some elements of the story which they can experience in their own way. We are surrounded by different stories, but we don't forget the ones that evoked our emotions, touched us, brought happiness and joy, or influenced our lives. In the movies, you have thousands of frames to show a story, and in still image, we have only one. It can be seen as limitation, but it can also be a great opportunity for you to shine as 3D artist. So now it's your move to go out and share your story. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.